nuclear waste remains. They are the type of signs you just don't expect to see. Warnings of radiation, poison in the ground, and there are more of these around St. Louis County than you might imagine. At this site, near the airport in Coldwater Creek, is in the process of being cleaned up. But critics say another location at the Westlake Landfill on St. Charles Rock Road hasn't been touched. For some, this is a frightening reality. I've been sick and I don't want my kids to be sick. Karen Nichols lives near the Westlake site and she's just part of a group meeting trying to put pressure on the Environmental Protection Agency to do more about it. Most here believe the area around the airport is the cause of numerous illnesses and they do not want a repeat performance here. I have lupus and I don't want my kids to be sick, especially from something that possibly made me sick. 30 years ago. The same exact thing. It's the same exact stuff. Why would you have such material <laughs> in the most populous county in, in Missouri? Washington University professor Bob Chris says his biggest worry is the landfill site is in the Missouri River's floodplain. The site is geologically absurd, so we're left with that because the, the material was, was put there illegally uh, in the first place. But uh, it is the wrong place for this type of material. Now, how bad it is. Uh, saying we're information poor. This should be dug up and taken away from the Missouri River floodplain. Now, officials from the Environmental Protection Agency were invited to this meeting tonight, but did not attend. We were not able to reach them this evening for comment on this story, but they did send along a fact sheet to folks attending the meeting. Coming up new on the Edge at 10, exactly what the EPA says they're doing about this. Well, I'm North County, George Sells, Fox 2 News. A St. Louis man who admitted to hiding a video camera in grocery store bathroom in Jefferson County is now headed to jail. Frank Fuchs 